Polakova of the Ukraine. The Ukraine delighted with their bronze medal in the team competition. Now, Irina, ninth in the qualification for this. The points used from the team competition, the top 24 from 106. So a new name that was very promising indeed in the earlier team competition this week. And that's a very bold mount, similar to Kinska's mount, but uh, with the somersault entry from the Arab Spring. And a more highly rated difficulty, the change leg split leap into a second jump. The judges are looking for combinations of acrobatic, and that's tumbling, and gymnastic skills. Oh, nice. Arab Spring straight back somersault using the beam like a road. And Bulakova really going well. Front somersault there. Tuck jump, Corbett flick. Elements in women's gymnastics graded in difficulty from A being the simplest up to E being the most difficult. Not quite holding the one arm, but aesthetically very beautifully performed. And the horrible full spin that so many gymnasts come to grief on. But so far, a very keen performance. Flick to one, flick to two, double back, oh yes! And for Bulakova, a really good start, some excellent work, excellent variety of skill. I think that she'll clock up a pretty good score for that routine. Certainly a gymnast who's on the upward improvement side in her performance, Irena, 16th in the all-around competition in the World Championships in Brisbane was ninth to qualify, as we said earlier, and that really is a very positive and focused start to her four apparatus campaign this evening. Just the slackness around the knees. A bars. Irina Bolakova goes into first position, 9.687, and the Ukraine looks to put the pressure on the Romanians. Yes. Irina Bolakova for the Ukrainian squad. Delighted with their bronze medal in the team competition. Keeping the French squad at bay in fourth place. And Bulakova had a really good start on beam. She had a, a 9.687 and whilst it wasn't the top score, if she was to turn in four nine sixes or almost nine sevens she would be in or near the medals but in the top three gymnasts there was less than two tenths of a mark dividing the top three girls so really absolutely every landing is crucial Final run. And another double twisting, a full twisting double back. And Bulakhova really producing some good gymnastics. She was 16th in the World Championships in Brisbane three weeks ago, but qualified in ninth position. And she is going extremely well. She's looking a much fitter performer every time I see her first saw her in Birmingham just as a reserve and uh, she was quite a lot heavier but really looking trim and fit there this position but what she's looking to do is put the pressure there's Bulikova 9.725 she goes into the lead as we wait for Korkina's score with Gojian Korkina and Kochetkova Bulikova was lying in fourth position coming into the third round and a very surprising gymnast in this competition, so much improved, offering lots of style and variety to her gymnastics. 
We have quite a few interpretations of the round-off vault. Here the round-off half twist on and one and a half somersault off in the tucked position. There the, at the cartwheel with an extra quarter turn, the flick flack with the half twist and a further one and a half somersault. And I think the gymnastics, especially in the ladies' side, is becoming much more interesting. So many more variations, not the same Sukahara or the same Yurchenko. 9575, five. because of its uh, not being a 10 tariff fault, she can't score any higher than that, only a 9 8 tariff. That's the maximum score she can gain on it. But of course, it's worth doing only a 9 8 tariff if. The vault is performed to excellent standards. Second opportunity. She could perform a little better. Squeezer. Yes, I think it was a little tidier. But of course, that vault performed with good flight and a still landing could still get her a 9 7. And it's two vaults that Lavinia Milusevic of Romania will be watching very carefully indeed. Remember, Irena Bulakova of the Ukraine is lying in fourth position after two rounds. Milicevic is now lying fifth after three pieces of apparatus. And it really has been a consistency, the calling card of Irena's performance so far in this competition. Nothing extraordinary or out of the ordinary, but just good, solid performances and all three pieces to date. And this could be good enough to keep her well on target for a personal best but again we keep saying it a mistake or two and she could be within the chance of her first ever european championship medal irena bulakova goes into fourth position keeps the great milisevic at bay in fifth with gozian kurkina and kochitkova taking the top three places podgepaeva sneaks back into fifth position pushing milisevic now sixth fabricinova is seventh position and Kalinina is in eighth spot for the Ukraine. The battle for the medals is really between Gozian, Korkina, Kochitkova, Bulikova, Podkopayeva, and Milicevic. He has taken the silver medal behind Gina Gozian. Svetlana Korkina having to settle for the bronze. It's not quite over. Irina Bulikova lying in fourth position could still put the Russian girls down another spot to put the Ukraine amongst these European medals. Yes, she could just squeeze into the bronze medal position. By my reckoning, I don't believe she could get the silver, but I'm only going on very quick computations. This exercise is superb. Oh, yes! What an exercise! Well, she was 16th position in the World Championships in Brisbane three weeks ago and hasn't she come on since then? It's as if the World Championships has laid to rest all of her nerves and butterflies. She's produced the performance of a lifetime here and she could with this final performance claim herself a bronze medal. Well that's the best bar exercise that we've seen today. I'm not saying it's the best of the day because we haven't seen every single exercise but the Jaeger went out of picture and uh, the producer is losing an awful lot of knees and feet. Ah, that's a better sight, better view there. Still going out of the picture, but there the half twist, which if Milicevic had learned, she'd have managed to see that landing. Of course, that's being facetious. Well, another score eagerly awaited and will be watched on very closely by two Russian girls Lying in the silver and bronze medal positions. It's confirmed, and we can confirm that the European all around.